This is going to be an informative hearing for you, Mr. Raskins, because we've we're going to present evidence. What evidence? There's no evidence. Witnesses. Well, just, no fact well, just witnesses. sit back and let, let the American people hear the see the hearing and let the American people. Decide. All right. Feisty exchange there uh, one on one. The GOP making its case against President Biden, wanting to showcase evidence, trying to find evidence, holding its first impeachment inquiry yesterday. And as you see, things got heated at times. The committee's top Democrat Congressman Jamie Raskin, the ranking member from Maryland, knocking heads with Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, arguing it was a hearing about nothing and other Democrats calling it an embarrassment. Political panel weighs in now. Hogan Gidley, former National Press Secretary for the Trump campaign. John Elliott, Republican strategist and Trump 2016 campaign senior advisor. Doug Burns, former federal prosecutor. Gentlemen, welcome and thanks so much for coming on. Hogan, we'll go to you. What'd you make of that back and forth between Comer and Raskin? Well, it was kind of funny that Comer kind of pat him on the back like, it's okay, sweetheart. You'll figure it out sooner or later. It was very dismissive, very disrespectful, and I loved every second of it. Jamie Raskin's a buffoon. But that's not the point. The point is the Republicans here have a lot of evidence. The left will call it circumstantial. All evidence is circumstantial unless you, unless you actually see the crime. But these bank records are really problematic. And if you notice throughout the day, they never really argued the Democrats did. Uh, they did not, rather, uh, the evidence. All they did was wave around the name Trump. And then they said, this is a sham impeachment. Well, it's not an impeachment. It's an impeachment inquiry. And let's be clear, say what you want to about the Republicans on the committee. They have got more evidence to prove that Hunter and Joe were working together in some form or fashion in five months than the DOJ did in five years. And one more thing I'll say about Jonathan Turley, as the left props him up as someone who eroded the Republicans' case. It was interesting to me that Jonathan Turley said legally, if anyone in his family, Joe Biden's family, got money, it does benefit Joe Biden by all of the... Um, court cases previous. The precedent's very clear. It still counts as benefiting uh, 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 Joe Biden. But then in the same breath, uh, we all know that that money, $25 million in five years, went to that family. So how is there not enough evidence to begin an impeachment inquiry? And one last point, impeachment inquiries aren't legal cases. You can impeach someone over anything. It's a political process. I think the Republicans did a good job on day one. Democrats wanted the conclusion and the evidence. Republicans are building their case, which is the way it should be done. We broadcasted it here, and important to note for viewers that may have missed it, that exchange between the ranking member and the chairman, uh, that was before anything even got started, before even evidence could have been brought forward, et cetera. Uh, I wanted to mention the latest news, and I'll go to John Elliott, that uh, um, Comer, uh, Chairman Comer, has now issued now three subpoenas for Hunter and the president's brother, James Biden's personal and business records. So again, as Hogan rightfully pointed out, this is an inquiry. Depends on what news network you're watching of how this will be shaped and told to you. Um, but this is an an, an an inquiry. They're looking into it. They are trying to find information. Uh, John Elliott, how do you think it's going so far? Democrats calling it an embarrassment. Republicans seem pleased. Your thoughts, John? Well, Sean, uh, Hogan has, as always, uh, absolutely right today. Um, what's happened in this inquiry is that the Republicans, once again, this is an impeachment inquiry. This is not an impeachment proceeding, but what it is, it's a fact-finding mission. And look at the facts here. Just uh, take a look, Sean and Emma. What you have is you have every single, every single area of the world, every single country that Biden was given the portfolio of under President Obama. Suddenly, he flew on Air Force Two, and he had his son, Hunter, on the airplane with him, and they would swoop in, and suddenly, Biden would meet with the head of state. Meantime, his bagman, Hunter, would meet with whoever the banker or whoever was the corrupt official in that, or the corrupt entity, whether it's China, whether it's Romania, whether it is Ukraine. And so, look, if there was nothing here, number one, Biden wouldn't have lied. But number two, why didn't he just tell his son, look, knock it off, my friend. Look, Hunter, you are embarrassing me by you doing all these shading dealings. It This smells really bad, and I don't want this stink even a mile from me right now. So don't come on my plane. Don't swoop in. Don't try to do business in the countries that I'm doing businesses. And instead, 
They both knew what they were doing, and that's why they both came in and would swoop in on Air Force Two in every single country that Biden was given a purview on. So, look, the facts are what they are. You have $24 million at least that went to the Biden family, nine different members of the Biden family, during the three or four years while Biden was leaving the vice presidency. So mm -hmm. he knew that this was time for influence to peddle because after 2016, there would be no more influence to peddle because Biden knew that Hillary was going to be in office for well, eight years. So anyway, again, it's, a, it's a mess. That, that's what Republicans are looking into. And as we've pointed out several times, they're inquiring about it. Um, Doug Burns wanted to turn to you here. Sure. Again, we heard specifically from the witnesses, they were asked, do you have evidence that proves President Biden, um, then Vice President Joe Biden, or current President Joe Biden, did anything wrong? And they all answered no. Yeah, how, did, how does that play into this? All three, Sean and the two others, made the point that it's an inquiry, not an impeachment. So it's like a probable cause hearing in court, not a trial. That's the distinction. But you kind of have to tip your hat to the left because they brilliantly pull off a semantic magic trick. That's all that's been going on for the last 24 hours, which is Jonathan Turley, crystal clear, couldn't have been clearer. This is an inquiry only. Right now, we may not or we do not even have enough for a full formal impeachment. Aha! Even their own expert is saying there's no evidence for an Im impeachment. They didn't say inquiry. So kudos to you guys for drawing that key distinction. This is only an investigative move, not an impeachment. Seems like the only way to report the facts or report the news, but unfortunately, that's really not the case of how this is being presented to the it, American it, public. They're unbelievable with these semantic spins, honestly. It's, it's